Hey what's up guys, the Film Guy one here and today we're going to learn how to make 3D text in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Uh, it's pretty easy to do and it takes about 5 to 7 minutes. Uh, here's the final product. As you can see there's a little shadow there on the bottom, nice vignette and a glow. Let's get started. What's up YouTube, the Film Guy one here and so we're in Photoshop. Um, as you can see, we're, um, I have, there's a lot of different ways you can do this 3D text effect. So we have this style, and we have this, right here, a Transformers type look, text look. Okay, so, once you have your picture imported, into Photoshop what you want to do is go to text and you wanna start typing uh, doesn't matter what word obviously I don't even know why I just said that just feel like I have to talk so right now we're gonna type in talk talk one I don't know how to talk now I don't know why. It, I think it sounds pretty cool. So we have talk now. Once you have your text, you want to click the selection tool. So it's there. I'll just center it for sakes, just to do it. And you want to go into your layers. And you have your text layer. You want to right click and click rasterize type. And what that enables us to do is go into edit transform perspective it allows us so that we can make the perspe the 3D perspective type look so to uh, add that the 3D angle type look you just uh, grab a corner the right corner or the left depending on how you want it to be 3D I mean it, it all depends really right now on you on the artist but anyways that's how I like it and once we have that you're gonna wanna click the selection tool again apply the transformation so now it's there and make sure you have your uh, text layer selected and click alt and the right arrow key at the same time This is going to duplicate it about how many times you want, which should be 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, no I'm just kidding, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And yes, I know, this looks ridiculous. I know it looks crazy, but just stay tuned for a little more, and you'll see. It'll start to take the form of a 3 text. So you have 12 layers. You want to make sure the top layer is selected. You're going to hold shift and go all the way down to the first copy that we made and make sure you're holding shift and click the first copy right click and click merge layers and what that's gonna do is just make all those billions of layers you just made into one layer so now we should have the background the original text and then the text copy with all the merged layers in there so make sure the text the merge layers copy is on the bottom and we're gonna double click on this one or just right click oh never mind you could just right click and go into blending options but anyways as I was saying you double click and you go into gradient make sure gradient overlay is checked 
as you can see, you have that 3D text now. It, I just love this effect because right when it looks like everything's going bad, you click gradient overlay, and then bam! I just love it. I, I, I don't know. It's, not, it's just amazing. I love that feeling. I know it's weird. So we have that. I think that looks cool. Okay. Now we'll go into the top layer, right click, go into blending options, and click gradient overlay. Or, I mean, right click gradient overlay. Make sure you right click it. Right click. and turn the opacity down a little bit so it has that color you know what I'm saying and then also check no don't check that <laughs> if you want you could have you can add a bevel and emboss but I don't really like that let's go and if you want to add color you go into blending options again you right click gradient overlay or col color overlay this time my, my bad right click it and then choose the color you want it to be so if you want the back to be red it can be red if you want it to be gray it can be gray personally I think red is pretty cool you know, it doesn't really match the background, but that doesn't really matter. Turn the opacity down a little. Now, I think that looks cool. And you, you can always just go in there and play with things to make it better for your taste in 3D text or however you want it to look. But right now, I think this is pretty decent. So, now that you have all this done once you are done editing all this stuff you can um you pr press shift hold shift and click on these two layers and click right click and click merge layers it's important to make sure that when you do that you don't here I'll undo you don't uh you don't right click the first the top layer and then merge down because then it'll turn it into this crazy mess so make sure that you have both of them selected holding the shift key right click and then merge layers that way it stays all the same so now that now we have to add the shadow so right click talk, talk now layer or your text layer and go into blending options and add a drop shadow right click drop shadow actually so you can uh, edit the shadow because it is 3d text sometimes it doesn't fit what you're doing <laughs> so turn up the distance a little bit and let's move it move it down maybe like this or yeah change the angle the spread the spread change the spread up a little the size I always like that feathered shadow look and yeah once you have that you can click OK close uh, minimize that and now whenever you move your text the shadow is with it and what what's so cool about this is that you can just take the background out and save this text as a PSD and you can just put it into any picture you want so I, I just love this effect it's it's pretty good and yeah that's that's it uh, if you have any questions or comments you can email me It'll be in my emails in the description. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Like.
you know, YouTube, they add all these crazy new features now. <laughs> like, comment, it's crazy. But I thank you for all your support, and I hope this video helped. I'm the Film Guy 1, and I'm signing out. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you next time.